Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Today I wanted to talk about factions. There are certain factions in the Forgotten Realms your character could be a part of. If you happen to play Adventure League, these become more important because your factions can aid your character in your game. They're fun and each faction is kind of associated with a set type of character, but really anyone can be part of any faction. The five factions are the Harpers, the Order of the Gauntlet, the Emerald Enclave, the Lord's Alliance, and the Zentarum. Let's start with the Harpers. The Harpers are a force of good in Faerun. It's a secret society that habitually worries about the effects of their actions on others. Do what is needful, but no more, lest the doing becomes more important than the deeds. Famous words from Kelvin Blackstaff Aronson that the Harpers have taken to heart. Many Harpers are spies. The idea is that they infiltrate an organization and attempt to thwart evil where they see it. If the agent fails, they've only lost one, but if the agent succeeds, it can be invaluable to their cause. Harpers have been called the meddlers of the realms. They aid merchants and common folk and occasionally spread rumors. They sometimes end the lives of creatures who work evil deeds or who try to manipulate the affairs of civilized races. Big or small, the Harpers intervene where evil can be thwarted. The ideals of the Harpers aren't set down in a book. It's sort of a code that Harpers swear to follow. Much of this code is reflected in the laws of Silvery Moon or Neverwinter and the surrounding kingdoms. When a new Harper accomplishes his first worthwhile or notable task on his or her own, there is often a surprise gathering of several Harpers who toast to the new companion. One of their most passionate beliefs is that all beings should walk free of fear. Those who control the population through fear are ever on the mind of a harper. The rule of law aids peace and fosters freedom, so long as the laws are just and those who enforce them lenient and understanding. Harpers work to protect cities of Faerun from the ravages of all who would destroy them. No task is beneath a harper either, no job too dirty or dangerous, known to chop wood for the elderly or swim sewers on an adventure. Harpers don't have uniforms either, or petty formalities or clear-cut ranks. They can dress and speak as they please, an emphasis on being free to do what they wish, as long as it doesn't interfere or hurt others. So how do you know a harper if it's a secret organization? Well, they wear pins with the harper symbol on it. These pins are hidden and only shown to other harpers or potential harpers. When they need to, they mostly communicate through magic, but letters have been written in the past and delivered to other harpers, coordinating their efforts against a nearby evil. The history of the harpers date back to the Dale Reckoning, which is the event that started the Dale Reckoning Calendar, or DR. This is when the Standing Stone was raised by the elves of Cormanther and the humans of Dale's folk. It was an alliance between the two races, allowing the humans to populate freely much of the nearby woods. The elven realm of Cormanther re realized that humans were too numerous, adaptable, persistent, and skilled to ignore or defeat. So it was decided that welcoming them in friendship was the best policy for the elven race. Soon, the city of Mithranor opened its doors to dwarves, gnomes, halflings, humans, and elves, as well as other half-breeds, to live and work together in one place. The most experienced elven generals with some human rangers and druids determined that a secret organization to work good throughout the realms was needed. Not loyal to a ruler, but a loose group of friends that would work secretly outside laws and politics to put down evil. An elven mage who took the name Lady Steel agreed to head this new group in its infancy, and her house symbol was that of a silver harp. The new members of the Harpers took that symbol for their organization, and it's stuck ever since. The organization really took off later on after Mythdranor fell to demons. The Harpers regrouped in a remote spot in Highdale known as the Dancing Place. Druids, clerics, bards, and creatures following good aligned deities gathered in this place, and Elminster himself stepped out and spoke to them. Here, it was urged to expand the Harpers into a shadowy band of heroes that would work against those who served the cruel gods, before all lands were plunged into war, slavery, and tyranny. A band that supported no lord or god, but had the quiet support of many. It was not all well accepted. Many of the priests did not want to work together without guidance from their deities. I mean, nobody wants to displease their god. But the deities represented liked this idea so much they ended up speaking directly through their chosen followers. In the end, the gathered gods agreed to support this organization that worked for them but did not serve them. The Harpers also wished to preserve history, art, and music, and maintain the balance between civilization and nature. This means smaller kingdoms and respect of the forest and its inhabitants. Most members are either good, neutral, aligned rangers or bards, but many wizards and druids are also harpers. Also, with all the gods aligned together for the harpers, there are a fair number of clerics too. They mainly operate in northern Faerun along the Sword Coast. The group can't really be destroyed as there's no ultimate authority figure anymore. It's become more of an idea than an organization. The harpers have fluctuated in members and has reformed four times since its original creation. 
Foes of the Harpers include the Zentarum, the Red Wizards of Thay, and the Cult of the Dragon. And if you'd like to know more about the Harpers, I'd recommend the Code of the Harpers, which was an AD&D accessory I found with loads of information, more than I could ever really cover in one video, complete with Harper ballads for your bard to sing at the table. Thanks for watching everyone, more videos to come on the other factions, and I'll see you all next Wednesday.